Hey again, everybody. Well, welcome back to another cooking video. This one's going to be a super easy and quick video. We are going to make a keto coleslaw. Let's look at the ingredients we're going to use for this. The main ingredient is going to be our shredded cabbage. Now I'm using a nine ounce package. I always buy the pre-packaged. You can get cabbage and shred it yourself. I find it's easier just to buy the pre-packaged kind of coleslaw mix. This has green cabbage, red cabbage, and carrots. Carrots do have a little bit more carbs, but there's so little amount in these packages, I don't even worry about it. An alternative to this is you can get also a broccoli slaw. I've made it with that as well, but we're gonna be using just the traditional cabbage for our coleslaw today. Next, we're gonna be using one fourth cup of mayo, one fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. You're gonna to wanna to use a sweetener of your choice, a low carb sweetener. We're gonna be using Swerve today and we'll be using a half a teaspoon. The recipe I'm using calls for ground celery seed. I don't have celery seed, but I do have celery salt. So that's what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna be using one fourth teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then an optional ingredient is bacon or crumbled bacon. I have some bacon bits I'm gonna be using. We're gonna use about two tablespoons. Let me get everything measured out and I'm gonna come back, show you how quick and easy this is to make. Now that I have my ingredients all measured out and ready to go, let me show you how we're gonna mix this up. I'm gonna start by making our sauce for the coleslaw. We're gonna put our 1 4th cup of mayonnaise in a bowl and make sure you have a big enough bowl for however much you're gonna be making. Then we're gonna pour in our 1 4th cup of apple cider vinegar. I have our swerve pepper and celery salt all here. We're gonna just dump that in. We're just gonna mix this and continue until it's a creamy consistency. Gotta get that mayonnaise mixed in and so it's not lumpy in there. And it's gonna be a little bit runny, but when we put this in the fridge to chill, this sauce will thicken up a little bit on the coleslaw. So I have this mixed up. It's a little bit runny. Like I said, it will thicken up a little bit as it chills in the fridge, but I'm gonna add a little bit more mayonnaise just to give it a little bit creamier consistency. I probably added a little less than another fourth cup of mayonnaise. Now keep in mind, the more mayonnaise you add, it's gonna add a little bit more carbs to the recipe, which as always, I will link this recipe down below that I used. It's actually a recipe I got from that keto lady. She has an online cookbook that I purchased is not very much. I'll leave a link to that cookbook down below if you all are interested in checking that out. But we've got our sauce ready to go. The next step we're gonna do is we're just gonna add in our cabbage. Now what I do is just add a little bit at a time. Oops, and not make a mess, <laughs> or try not to make a mess. And then I kind of stir that in, get it coated. Once that's coated, I add a little bit more. Now in her recipe, it calls for four cups of shredded cabbage. That's an awful lot. And since it's just Jason and I, I just tend to use the small, one small package of the pre-made cabbage mix and that's plenty for us. Now the sauce is for the four cups of cabbage, but I don't like it dry, so the sauce amount, even to this lesser amount of cabbage, it works great for us. We really like it. As you can see, our cabbage slaw mixture is all nice and coated. The last step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add our bacon bits. And like I said, you're gonna add really to your preference, probably about one to two tablespoons. I'm gonna add to this and then mix that in. You could also cook some bacon and crumble that and put it in too. I have done that before, but since I had the already made bacon bits, I'm just using that for convenience. There we have it. Our coleslaw is all ready to go. So the last step to this is letting it chill. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and let it sit in there until we're ready for dinner later, probably three to four hours from now. It should be nice and chilled and ready to go. It's always better when it's chilled, but that's it guys. Super simple, easy keto coleslaw doesn't take hardly any time to make minimal ingredients and it's really good. Do you like it? 
I like it. What what makes it uh, keto versus regular coleslaw? The sweetener. Because in regular coleslaw, they're usually using sugar to sweeten the, the dressing. Yeah. Okay. So we're using a sugar substitute or a low carb substitute for the sugar. So that's why. And your mayonnaise doesn't hardly have any carbs. The apple cider vinegar doesn't have any carbs in your seasonings. The carrots, like I said, are going to be a little bit higher carb vegetable, but they're so minimal in the coleslaw. Uh, yeah, we don't even worry about that. Yeah. So again, guys, I will leave the recipe. I'll leave a link to the cookbook that I got the recipe out of. I'm not going to write out that recipe because it's not my recipe and you know, that wouldn't be right. So if you want to check out the recipe, go check out that keto ladies cookbook. It's an online ebook. It's really cheap. It's not sponsored. <laughs> Just sharing the stuff that I found with you guys. But if you guys make this as always, come back and let me know how you liked it. Thank you as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love and expediting. No help at all. I swear. Measured out and hold on. take five. <laughs> Action! <laughs>